Hi guys, Lisa from The Sequinist, back with you this month to tell you about my five favorite things. I'll jump straight in. The first one um, was gifted to me by Pixie, and this is their Glow Tonic, and this is a 5% glycolic acid toner, basically. So I just put it on a little cotton wipe, zip it over my skin right after I've cleansed, and I think it's really great. It just takes everything off, like all those last little bits of skin flakes, so especially on a day where I'm filming like this and I want my skin to look extra nice. It just provides a really lovely surface for your serums or lotions or creams or whatever to go on on top of it. And um, as the weather just starts to get a little bit warmer, my skin starts getting very sluggish, very breakout prone, um, so it cleans all the schmutz out of my pores. And it just really seems to be working very well for my skin right now. I do not use it on my very eczema prone areas, sort of like this is where I always get it from the end of my eyebrows out to my hairline. I don't put it there, but I use it everywhere else and I'm just really impressed with it. I can see why this is their best-selling product or one of their best-selling products apparently. Um, and I'm very glad they gifted it to me. So thank you Pixie for that. And I would recommend this in a heartbeat. Now the second product is a bit of an offbeat one. This is a Zerbeverful and this is basically, let me show you it out of the box. I buy everything in twos, by the way. If I love something, I'm so terrified of running out of it, I always buy everything in twos. So I kind of look like I'm shopping for Noah's Ark. But here is the my backup one. And here is the other one. So what it is, is a zero verfel is, verfel means cube in German. And this is a cube made from a pine, which is a Swiss stone pine or Austrian stone pine. And you can see the little chips of the pine are up here. And then we have a little, oil here, a little essential oil of the, the Zirba is in there so that you can recharge it. Now, the reason why I like this so much is because the Swiss stone pine or Austrian stone pine, it's an alpine pine that grows um, in the Alps, imagine that. And this is a, it's a tree that's, whose oil has a very um, relaxing effect on us. And I know this from personal experience because the house that my husband's family has in the in the Austrian Alps is made out of this wood and I always notice that when I sleep there I sleep brilliantly my son sleeps amazingly well and I just kind of wanted to bring a little bit of that amazing sleep therapy back to London with us so you can buy these at the airport I'm gonna to try to find links for you online and in the States it might be a little bit harder to find this but I'll see what I can do um, but basically it's supposed to lower your heart rate there's all sorts of research on it you can google but this swiss stone pine is supposed the smell of it is supposed to lower your heart rate it promotes greater and deeper sleep and it's just a very it's a very relaxing scent i suppose it's kind of like lavender is supposed to be for most people and it smells a little bit woody it smells kind of like popsicle sticks to me, you know, that balsa wood kind of smell. It's a little bit like that. It's not like a cedar, and it doesn't really smell terribly piney to me, um, but it's just a really, it's a really lovely scent, and it's helping me sleep, and my son loves it so much that he also requests this one to be in his bedroom, so I'm cracking open the other box for my bedroom soon. Um, but it's a bit of a weird one, but I love this, and I thought I might tell you guys about it. So another product that I've been using for years, and I don't think I've ever mentioned it on here before, is the Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel. Now this is just a little botanical powder that you tip out. There's a pre-measured amount that comes out. You just tip it out into your hand, mix it with a bit of water. It turns into um, a very light foam. And because it has enzymes in it, I just leave that on my face to sort of eat through all the junk in my pores and to clear off all the dead skin cells on the surface while I do the rest of my shower routine and then rinse it off and you're done. I probably wouldn't use this and this in the same day. I would probably use one or the other, but um, there are days when I've used both of them. But I just think this is a really good everyday, first thing in the morning just to get everything out of your pores um, kind of cleanser. I think it's really fantastic. Now, another interesting product, which I was gifted recently, is this stuff called Puff Me. Um, apparently, it is not tested on animals. I checked that with a company before I mentioned it on here. This is really weird. I still, I can't quite decide if I like it, but I think I like it. Um, 
It is basically a wet, sticky powder that you put on your hair. Doesn't sound like everyone's idea of a good time, but if you have really fine, thin hair like I do, and you just need to give it a little bit of texture and guts, this is a great product for that. So I'll just show you what I mean. You just kind of shake it up a little bit and then you spray it. And this, this um, wet sticky powder comes out and the stickiness stays a little bit. The wetness goes very quickly. So it turns into kind of like a dry sticky shampoo. If that sounds like your thing, you might want to give this a try. I've been using it just at the roots here. Um, I don't use it in the rest of my hair because it, if I use it everywhere, it sort of starts to make it feel like it's tangling a little bit but I do like it at the roots. It's a weird product and um, I don't know how much it is and I don't even know where to get it. I just got gifted this and I've seen that they're promoting it. I think it's a big product in Scandinavia, but if they have hair like I do, then I can certainly see why. Um, but yeah, interesting product. If you've got fine thin hair, you might wanna give this a shot. Now, because I'm a bit of a health freak, I always like to do at least one health related product when I do these. And this time I'm going to mention to you my absolute favorite cookbook in the world, which is called Veg Every Day, The River Cottage, which is a sort of a famous place in the UK. Um, and it's Hugh Friendly Whittingstall who runs River Cottage, and this is his Veg Every Day cookbook. Now, you can see this has been used so much in our house. Ours is like practically falling apart, it's tearing up. I've given this as a gift to my mother, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, one of my best friends, Giselle. Lots of people have this because they come to our house and we make them food and they go, oh my God, this is amazing. This is, it's vegetarian, but it's so flavorful. And they're quite easy. Unlike say some of Yot Yotam Otto Lenghi's recipes, which although I love them, I call them four hour salads because some of them literally take four hours to make. By the time you assemble all these crazy ingredients like pomegranate molasses and you char your seeds and all the things that you must do for a recipe. That's not what this book is about. This is really easy. And while I'm on cooking stuff, um, through the winter, I think I eat Brussels sprouts at least once a day, if not twice a day. I'm sort of like a dog in that I can eat the same food every day for weeks on end. I really don't need a great deal of variety in my food, but I just don't like to do things that are too complicated, things that you faff around too much in the kitchen. And now that it is not um, Brussels sprout season anymore, thankfully we're moving into my favorite season, which is asparagus season. So I'm literally having asparagus once or twice a day. If you don't have one of these and if you cook asparagus at all, and it is seasonal, so you should be eating it, and it's so good for you. If you don't have one of these, then you're kind of missing out. This is an asparagus cooking pot, and it has this amazing little basket in it like this. And so you just put your, mine's still wet from my lunch. Um, you don't even need to tie your asparagus with a string. You don't fill it all the way up. You fill it about to here, sort of halfway up. You just peel the ends of your asparagus so that the tough woody bits at the bottom are softer. You wait for this to boil, chuck them in there, three minutes and you're finished. Um, on a normal day like today, I just put some sea salt and um, olive oil on it and that makes me very happy. If I'm going super fancy, then I put on a truffled um, pecorino cheese. I just grate it with a microplane over the top of it and the flavors together with the truffle, the pecorino, and the asparagus are just amazing. So <clears throat> anyway, if you are into cooking and seasonal cooking and you love asparagus the way I love asparagus, then get yourselves one of those pots. I got this one on Amazon. Um, my mom saw how easy it was when she came to visit one time, so she got herself one when she went back to the state, so I know they're available there. So I hope you enjoyed my five favorite things this month. I skipped a month because I was a bit sick and just sounded really blocked and horrible on video, so I decided to, to skip it, but I think I'll try to get another one out fairly quickly. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.